Nathan Markton has lived in pain every day since his leg was seriously injured when he was a child. 20 years on, he's hoping there's a chance to be free of that agony. He's spending a month in a Mexican clinic undergoing stem cell treatment. The only option the doctors in the States really gave me anymore was to actually remove the leg because they said there's nothing else that they could do. I guess I'm hoping that with the stem cell treatment, we can regrow some blood vessels and get some flexibility in my leg again. I decided to give it a try and see what happens. Taken from embryos, umbilical cords, and fat from human donors, stem cells are the body's biological building blocks. They can replace damaged tissues, help stroke victims to recover, and even help some blind people to see. Stem cell research is heavily restricted in the United States, but here in Mexico, it remains unregulated. And that's one of the reasons that Tijuana, which is just a short hop across the world's busiest international border, has become the global capital of stem cell treatment. But some doctors here are warning that a lack of adequate regulation means patients can't be sure of what they're exposing themselves to. These cells have limitations, so we're very forthcoming with that. And these patients that get rejected try to find other clinics. Well, they are usually um, not very well regulated. Uh, the sources of the cells, well, you don't really know the sources. So it's very important to know where you're going and what you're getting. The treatment's supporters say it will revolutionize modern medicine. I mean, once the price of stem cells goes down, because right now they're too expensive to use regularly, there's no doubt that the cells will be used prior to surgery. We've seen patients who recover after a surgery much quicker um, once they get the stem cells. With little government scrutiny, Tijuana is proving popular for those seeking stem cell treatment. But practitioners here are far from agreed on whether greater regulation is needed. Alastair Bavastock, TRT World, Tijuana.